What makes acoustic or underwater communication difficult? In case you don't know about acoustic telemetry, make sure you check out our previous video. Have you ever tried having a conversation in a cave? You might have found that your voice became muffled by echo, and your recipient might have a bit of trouble understanding you. The same logic exists for transferring data underwater. The two high-level terms here are intersymbol interference and fading. Intersymbol interference is when the receiver of the data isn't sure if the data coming in is the direct signal or an echo. Each instance of data is referred to as a symbol. Echo makes one symbol interfere with the next, hence intersymbol interference. And fading is when the echoes line up just right so that no sound happens at all. These issues come from reflections off the ocean floor, the ocean surface, harbor walls, boats, or underwater features like coral reefs. For clarity's sake, here are examples of those two impairments using some strings and hammers, or as most people call it, a piano. Let's say that this six note melody is the data being transferred underwater. Intersymbol interference would make it sound like this. That would be pretty tricky to decipher for a receiver, huh? And fading occurs when the peaks and valleys of the sound waves cancel each other out, leaving this. Well, not crickets, but maybe something like this, which would mean lost information. Of course, there are some really unique and interesting ways to mitigate these issues. Two ways are frequency hopping and frequency redundancy. In our piano analogy, think of this as adding notes to make chords and then cycling through a chord progression that we know. By cycling through this chord progression, we are able to ensure that intersymbol interference won't impede a successful collection of data. Additionally, fading is completely mitigated because if one or more of the notes in the chord is subject to sonic knockout, the remaining chords persist. Of course, there are other impairments that make acoustic communication difficult, like Doppler, thermoclines, and just your good old-fashioned underwater noise. But rest assured that each of these issues are combated with equally successful tactics. So, is acoustic communication difficult? Yeah. But Popoto Modem has solved these issues, making robust, clear communication in the ocean easy.